In the book of Revelation, it tells us of an entity called the beast. But just what or who is this beast? Where did John get that from? Hundreds of years before John was even born, Daniel wrote about it. The prophet Daniel. In Daniel chapter 7, he talks about four beasts, which represent four different superpowers from the beginning of the world till the end of the world. And Daniel says that the last kingdom or superpower is the last beast. And this beast is different than all the rest. And this beast has more power than the others. This beast is more fierce than the others. In Daniel chapter 2, it also tells us a parable of four different kingdoms from the beginning of the world to the end of the world. The last kingdom is the kingdom of iron and clay, a mixture of iron and clay. The strength of iron, but the fragility of clay. If you think about what's happening in the world today, what better picture do we have than something mixed and something so unusual as a mixture of iron and clay? Something that's very fragile and yet something that's very powerful. The book of Revelation says that the beast, which is the fourth beast, the last beast, the last kingdom or superpower that is over the earth in the last days, just before the end of the world as we know it, this beast will have power over all. This beast is indeed fierce. It has the power to cancel anybody who does not go with the system. We read about that in the last part of Revelation chapter 13. You're not able to buy or sell. You're not able to do business. Your business will be canceled if you don't comply. Now, I'm not one for conspiracy theories. I was always very skeptical, to say the least, of any kind of conspiracy theory. But back in the day when Alex Jones was canceled, that shocked me. These companies that canceled Alex Jones canceled him all in one day. All in one day except for perhaps Twitter that was a little bit later. But is it a coincidence? Companies that you think would be otherwise competing against one another and at odds with one another. A company that would say, hey, I'm not like the other company. I'm the opposite to the other company because I'm the competitor. But no, all these companies ganged up together in one day. Tell me that there's no conspiracy. These companies that are supposed to be at odds with one another obviously works together. It's almost like all of these companies bow to the same God. It's almost like all of these companies serve one entity. Could that entity be a spiritual entity? You know, the scriptures tell us about angels that have power over, over parts of the earth. Could there be an angel, a spiritual entity that has power over all of these companies? And if that angel makes a decree that so-and-so is canceled, then they, through their spiritual power, turn the hearts and the minds of all of these major corporations to cancel at once. It's almost like all of these corporations, all of these companies and organizations are puppets. And there is one master of puppets that's controlling them all. We read in the book of Revelation that the devil deceives the whole world. Think about that for a minute. Not deceives 10% of the people. Even that is a lot of people. Not 20%, not 50%, but it says he deceives the whole world. There is obviously a spiritual force behind these companies that are canceling one person after another, after another, after another. 
And it's no coincidence that when one company cancels, everybody else does all at once. Could it be that the beast of Revelation is the spiritual entity that is controlling these companies, these people that are behind these companies? Whether they know it or not, it doesn't matter. And the book of Revelation says that that beast has 10 horns. Could it be that those 10 horns are 10 people over 10 different companies or organizations, 10 different puppets that are all controlled by the 10 fingers of the beast? Let me know what you think. Is the beast just a man or is it a power that is now beginning to overtake the world? A power that's even more powerful than the government of the United States. A power, a kingdom, a beast.